Hi students, this is C.S. Srinivas Ravanakka. Today we are here to discuss CMA final SFM day before examination strategy for December 2025 attempt. There is no time gap in between one exam to another exam, especially who are attempting both groups. Sir, we are attempting only one group, sir. Then you can follow, multiply it. The strategy can multiply, two times you can follow. So, what is very important thing before exam? So, for what purpose you have to use this day before exam is very simple. You have to increase your level of confidence. Day before exam is not to revise the new topics, not to refer new books, nothing. Not to learn the new concepts, nothing. But day before examination was only to build the confidence in the exam hall. Sir, how to build a confidence, sir? Very simple. Number of times you are revising the syllabus. More number of times you are revising the syllabus, then more confidence you will get before the exam. Sir, are you joking? This is SFM syllabus. How it is possible to revise number of times day before exam, sir? How it is possible? So, so many chapters are there in SFM. Very big chapters are there. Even portfolio management chapter itself will take one day to revise entire portfolio. No, that is not the revision. We are not going to solve the problems of portfolio or derivatives day before exam, already first revision or second revision, you pointed out, already we are giving notes for students, right? For each and every problem, what is a highlighted point, that a highlighted point you have to revise once and in rough you have to calculate the particular point consequence or maybe the implications, then you can move to next problem. That is what you have to do. In classroom already we clearly explained how in first revision, second revision, how you are going to uh, revise the problem within less time, okay? And now, Please see, the within available time, you have to cover the syllabus number of times. But first of all, you should calculate how much time is available for us. That is what very, very important, right? How much time is available for us? That is what very important. So, as per your timetable, so once you came out of our examination hall, don't waste your time for the completed paper. That is the thumb rule. Okay, anyhow, take one hour rest, maybe whatever it may be. You can start uh, revising SFM from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. 8 hours and uh, next day morning you have another 4 hours. So, approximately you have 12 hours on an average, 12 effective hours you have to revise the entire strategic financial management syllabus day before exam. Or within 12 hours, what we have to revise? Prioritize the chapters. So, we are here to help you to prioritize the chapters and to complete your SFM revision within this 12 hours day before exam to build confidence in your exam hall. Sir, which chapters? I will recommend strictly as per my opinion, category A chapters, portfolio management, first and foremost chapter, portfolio management. You know very well 21 marks weightage is there around for only descriptive. Including mutual funds, maybe 28 marks, they can ask portfolio management. Very easy chapter and in-depth questions also students can answer in this chapter. Sir, in the portfolio management chapter, what topics we want to revise day before exam? Very simple, risk of portfolio under Markovich theory, you know very well. And as well as sharp theory, systematic risk and unsystematic risk of portfolio. And beta of portfolio, CAPM theory. So, calculation of risk of portfolio based on the beta, CAPM theory. And arbitrage pricing theory and as well as there are uh, integrated problems on portfolio management and derivative chapters is nothing but how to manage the risk of portfolio. How to reduce the risk of portfolio, how to increase the risk of portfolio by holding long position or short position in the features which we discussed in the derivatives. That topic is also very very important contemporary. And you know Markovich theory how to calculate the proportion of the investment in the securities to reduce your risk of portfolio. So, these are all you have to concentrate in the portfolio management, especially the comprehensive problems what we discussed the day before means the examination problems that you please uh, revise once. Next, derivative chapter. In derivative chapter, don't waste your time for the strategies of the call and put options and all. Okay, option strategies, please don't waste the time. Concentrate on the option valuation. Okay, so please concentrate on the option valuation and the valuation of features also. And especially how you are holding long position or short position in the futures, okay, to reduce your risk of portfolio, to reduce what ma? your risk of portfolio. That is what you have to do. This is a combined pro integrated problem in portfolio management as well as derivatives chapter. Derivatives, you please concentrate on option valuations, option valuations and the strategy also arbitrage process. 
ओके आर्बिट्रेस प्रोसेस इन द ऑप्शन दट इज आलसो या प्लीज कॉन्सेंट्रेट एंड फीचर्स वैल्यू ऑफ दि फीचर्स एज वेल एस दिस पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट रिस्क ओके नेक्स्ट इन लीज फैनांसिंग ऐक्चुअल ईच अंड एव्री प्रॉब्लम इज इंपारटेंट प्लीज डोंट लीव वन प्रॉब्लम आलो इन लीज फैनांसिंग वेरी स्माल चाप्टर बट फर् श्यूर गेट सेवन मार्क्स इट इज अ कैटगरी ए चाप्टर यू प्लीज रिवाइज लीज फैनांसिंग ईच अंड एव्री प्रॉब्लम वाट इज देर ओके अंड द प्रॉब्लम आलरे ई सेलेक्टेड इन द मैरदा सो इन दट मैरदा ऐक्चुअली वाट आर द प्रॉब्लम आर सेलेक्टेड दट प्रॉब्लम यू प्लीज ट्रई टू साव द आंसर इन रफ् आलो ओके अंड वालुशन आफ बॉन्स एंड शेस आलो वेरी स्माल चाप्टर अंड हाविंग सेवन टू फोर्टी मार्क्स वेटेज इन डिस्क्रिप्टिव इट सेल्फ इट इज हाविंग सेवन टू फोर्टी मार्क्स वेटेज ओके सो वेरी स्माल चाप्टर अंड आल मेजारी आफ दि टापिक आर् कवर्ड इन युवर वालुशन आफ बिजनेस सब्जेक्ट ऐस वेल ऐस युवर फंडमेंटल आफ एफ मे बी इन सी एम एंटर सी ए इंटर सो दिस इज ओनली जस्ट युवर ब्रशिंग द टापिक्स वालुशन आफ बॉन्स एंड शेस इज नाट ए वेरी बिग टापिक जस्ट गो थ्रू आल द प्रॉब्लम एस्पेषली द बॉंड वालुशन थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स आर् देर ओके कन्वर्शन पारिटी प्रईस अंड आल दट टाइप आफ प्रॉब्लम थ्री प्रॉब्लम आर् देर अंड कालबुल बॉंड ओके कालबुल बॉंड वालू आलो यू हाव टू प्लीज गो थ्रू वन आफ्टर दट वालुशन आफ शेज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मेथड्स आर् देर एस्पेषली मल्टपल ग्रोथ मॉडल मल्टपल ग्रोथ मॉडल आफ वालुशन आफ इक्रीशर यू प्लीज रिफर वन ओके अंड प्रईस एंडिंग रेसो मॉडल आलो यू प्लीज रिफर वन ओके नेक्स्ट म्यूचुअल फंड इज आलो वेरी स्माल चाप्टर बट सेवन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन मेकअप not make a mistake come but in combination with portfolio management sometimes they are asking performance of the mutual fund okay or evaluation of the mutual funds sharp ratio trinus ratio okay this type of ratios are there na you please go through once all all these things jensen's alpha sharp ratio trinus ratio mutual fund performance some problems are there that problems as well as one or two problems are very very important problems are calculation of nav and all ओके अंड रेट आफ रिटर्न हॉल पीरियड रिटर्न आफ दि म्यूचुअल फंड आलो टू प्रॉब्लम आर देर ई आलरे ईडेंटिफाइड इन द मैर दट प्रॉब्लम यू प्लीज डू वर्क ओके नैक्स्ट रिस्क अनालिस इनवेस्टमेंट डेसीशन वेरी स्माल चाप्टर सेवन मार्क्स ग्यारंटी एस्पेषली यू हाव टू कांसट्रेट आ डेसीशन ट्री अंड सेंसीट्यूट अनालिस सेंसीट्यूट अनालिस डेसीशन ट्री आर रिस्क रिस्क अडस्टेड डिस्कउंट रेट इज आलो वेरी वेरी इंपार्ट स्माल टापिक ओनली वन ओनली वन प्रॉब्लम इज देर And uh, you have a standard deviation. How to calculate? Already portfolio management is covered. You know how to calculate standard deviation. And that also please consider the simulation also reference. Okay. Then category B chapters. After completing these chapters, that is also selective problems. And how to revise those problems also clearly explained in the classroom and manner. Problems also selected in the manner. That problems only you please do in rough and read the note points. What is given for the students for your revision. Okay. All these things. And next category B chapters. Investment decisions, advanced investment decisions. These two chapters together, maybe they can ask seven marks. But uh, especially advanced investment decisions, you please concentrate on the replacement decisions. And investment decisions can concentrate on the NPV. Okay, missing figures problems also there. You please concentrate on that. Next, IFM. Why sir, it is category B because uh, there is a more chances to complicate the problems in IFM. If you are wasting even much time in IFM, also maybe you are not in a position to attempt those questions. Like that they can complicate if they want. So that's why I kept in a category B intentionally. International financial management chapter for your profession is important. For examination point of view, it will take more time and it is confusing topics are there. So this is maybe your second choice only international financial management. Okay. And digital finance debt securitization theory definitely one question will be there. You please go through once digital finance and sir all other theory topics please don't waste your time for all other theory topics even one minute also. whatever the knowledge you have which is listen to the classroom in the class from the classroom knowledge if you are unable able to answer any questions please answer that's all then what about this uh, mcq sir mcq is whatever is there in your board material or mcq booklet is provided by our masterminds institute that booklet or board material mcqs are there those mcqs you please by heart i am saying once again even though answers few mcqs answers are wrong which is wrongly given in your material institute material board material still you please uh, write that answer only in your exams okay mcq sir there is no choice for the students to write their opinion like uh, descriptive questions okay so please try to increase the level of confidence before the exam and don't refer any new questions nothing okay what are all the problems i selected for those problems only you please go through uh, this assign problems also okay and you please don't refer any new books day before exam with what books what problems you are familiar during the first revision or second revision those problems only revise once to increase the confidence okay thank you all the best